I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger Bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Pulsar. Image. Quality. stand it's thermal edition we're here for the kansas opener sounds crazy to say that right it like does watch this like what kansas opener yeah, yeah kansas has a thermal season opens january 1st runs through what yeah. end of march end of march yep end of march so we're going to do something a little bit different on this episode we're going to try to bring you guys this entire episode filmed nothing but through the pulsar thermals that we're going to be using we're going to be running some merger XL 50s. We got some merger XP 50s. We got um, some some Thermion 2 uh, XP 50 Pro scopes. We got the XG 35s. We got the XG 50s. I mean, we got a, a big variety of thermal options we're going to be using. So uh, should be good. You know, we've been doing these thermal episodes now for what three, four years down here. I think this will be the third year. Yeah, something like that. You know, and, and last year was rain and wind and the year before it wasn't real great but keep our fingers crossed the weather looks pretty dang good for the next three nights so if everything goes well we're going to pile up a ton of coyotes we're going to give you guys three pretty hopefully badass thermal episodes but we got mike along tonight he's the mike lucky, mike. lucky participant uh, of the evening so we're going to have three shooters um you know we're going to set up and rick's got the magic sounds loaded onto his i just hope i can call Super something Bowl. in <laughs> please but you know, we're going to start it off. Moon's not out yet. I think it's supposed to be a full moon at some point, I believe. Midnight. Midnight. So, you know, right now it's going to be pretty dark. We're not going to have to worry about, uh, you know, probably the coyotes seeing us as easily. But once that moon comes out, it'll be an issue. But kind of parked in this little waterway, though, tunnel yeah. of the, through the trees. We're going to yep. slip around a big pride field right over here. We're going to go call the edge of it, see what happens. All right. First stand, I think I'm gonna play a little smoke howl here first, just to see if we can get anything to light up. Pretty quiet out. Here we go, a little smoke. if I'm gonna play a fight, if I'm gonna play a rabbit, or if I'm gonna play a bird. Yep, yep, pair of them. Straight south, Mike. One's going to the right, and one's coming in straight. I can't figure out how to range. Where'd that second one go? He's 189. 189. Second one's way gone. Where'd he go? He's, run, he's running off. Switch the pup. He's 
Well, Rick, you know what I like to say. Dog hog. No, you can't kill them on every stand if you don't kill one on the first stand. Well, that's true. <laughs> I yeah. kind of, I should give Mike the shaft here last year and I did it again. <laughs> I just want to, I got to kill that first one just so I get to feel better. You know, they came from the same exact spot. <clears throat> what was that, probably three minutes in? Yeah. So, yep. uh, Scooby snack or what no, was No, screaming, chi screaming I, chicken. Smoke howl one, just let him howl a few times, waited a minute, and then screaming chicken one. You know, that's why I, <clears throat> I see that a lot at night, though. That first coyote, he skirted way out there. Yeah. This one, this one even skirted us a little bit, but it's pretty calm right now. I mean, you would expect these coyotes to be maybe a little skittish, you know, right now <clears throat> coming into that stuff. But that worked out pretty good. I had my rangefinder going for you, so. Yeah, well, thanks. Cause I I'm, hope you hit record because I forgot to. I. Maybe. I don't know if I, I was pushing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm well, trying. That's why we got the camera guys. The camera guys are running the XL 50s, the mergers. So hopefully between two of them, we got we got at least one on because I was watching the whole thing and then I thought, crap, I forgot to hit record. But I locked my laser in. We're going to walk out there and get that guy out and okay. head to the next one. Ain't no yeah. puppy. No. What is that, big, that's a bigger male? Yeah, that's a bigger male, isn't it? <clears throat> nice one. I don't know where the first one got him. I don't know either. Front half, back half. You know, I always talk about this. this is what we don't like about thermal sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite precision shooting like no. we're used to in the daytime, but. No, I just, I just can't get used to it, honestly. Mm -hmm. I forgot to turn the call on, so I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, I see him. Way on the other side oh, of the tree. By the second telephone pole, other side of the draw. nice little line and then all of a sudden we got six of them you know clear across the road there a long ways yeah. and we all try to move and get set up and then we look off to right and there's one right at the call yeah <laughs> yep that uh, is how it works but you know that but he stood there so it must be dark enough that he didn't see us up yeah, here the trucks right there I mean, he's laying dead at 70 yeah. yards up there mm -hmm. you know so but then you know all these coyotes are just ripping off right across this creek probably four or five six hundred yards up in yep. here but we we gave that a shot but they didn't want to show up but well, you got them getting their bubble, so we're going to make a move on them. Yeah, let's run up and check this boy. It looks like a bigger coyote. Dumb one. <laughs> Big dumb one. <laughs> Low again, huh? A little male. Yeah. Yeah, I better raise that up tomorrow a little bit. Well, good shooting. Yeah. Let's keep her up. It's only 8.30, man. The night is young. I want a six pack to roll in so I can <laughs> dump some lead. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, we got a little tight quarter spot here. They usually pop out right in this corner right here where I'm looking straight south. I think I'm gonna start out with a puff ball. I got the call over here kind of behind us and out farther than I normally do, so hopefully we can make it happen here. We've got a few here before and burgered a few, so just see what puffball does for us, and then I'll probably work into a little louder rabbit and then some pup fights. you guys kill it. Yeah, I'm watching. Uh oh, smell us. No comment. No. no comment. How far was that? Not very far. Should I guess I kept watching over here. I'd let you guys do that. All right, I got this one. That ain't the same one, I guarantee you. Did you hit record that time? No. I forgot to push record. <laughs> eight, eight minutes and 12 seconds. So the first coyote was in the field. We hit the squeaky stuff. He come running right in. So we shot within about a minute. We shot 16 times yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> the same direction this coyote just showed up. Yeah, you rolled through a series of what? Some pup I, fights? I played some pup fights real quick and was wanting to get out of here. And then I thought, last winter I started playing crack jack at the end of stands. And I don't I don't know if it's just, there ain't no jacks around here. Yeah. but It's the secret sound. That sucker came pretty much clear to it. Close enough, I wasn't going to let him get away. Mike had, well, his, I wasn't, Mike had his chance. Well, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Mike some, had his chance. So, here's some of my blame. I had a question. We're running Pulsar. I had a question, so I, person we know at Pulsar, I, sent him a, I was sending him a text on a question I had on this thing, and you guys are acting like... I thought I didn't even look at this coyote. I thought it was just trotting in from 550 out, so I thought I had like 30 seconds to finish sending this text message. Yeah. <laughs> No, he was... Before, I, I'm just putting my phone back in my pocket and Mike shoots and I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I better get the scope. He, <laughs> the wind's kind of bad where we're at right here, so he he smelled where I walked out there. Maybe it's blowing straight out of the north. I don't know, but he... How close he did he get to the call? <laughs> I, I, I was... Mike told me to keep watching his corner and they always do <laughs> pop out of his corner, so I went back on the binoculars and uh, I just... It all went down. We, we made it work, though, fellas. We did. We got a coyote out of the deal. <laughs> well, it's a dead coyote, man. Three, what, three out of four stands now? Yeah. This is the kind of nights we, uh, we hope for, that's for sure.
stand five. I think I'm gonna play smoke howl and then a rabbit. Northwest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight over the call. Yep. We gonna have pup distress or what? I'm trying. Okay. Mike, let's shoot on three. You ready? You shoot the left one. Ready? Oh. Woo! Woo! One, two, three. Rolled that sucker up. Did you get that one, Rick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's down. This one on the this one on the Did you guys get two out front? Yeah. There, I got him. Hopefully you did too. I don't know how well it looks, but. That kind of cheap thing no, nah, I don't bother with a can. I was Mike, we pulled it off the one, two, three. Rick, you got that one running off to the left? Oh, yeah, nice. after about the seventh shot. <laughs> Did you get that one cam I shot running? Nice. Is that gun on, Mikey? Yep. Well, you know, that was a, like, like you <laughs> technically you howled those coyotes in. They came to smoke but, howl all the way. But I, th I always feel like you know that's were those coyotes only like 300, 200, 300 down there. I would like say, yeah, if I you would have played anything, would they have come? You think? I think. Probably. I think so. I do. Yeah. Yeah, they come, come up. That was pretty cool because they all checked up. Our, you know, it, it got foggy on us all of a sudden. Bad foggy. So you know, unfortunately, when it gets foggy like this, the range finders don't work. But you know, one thing I noticed last year hunting. These pulsars do a phenomenal job when it gets moisture in the air like yeah. that, you know? Like, we could see those coyotes great. You lose a lot of the other detail. Right, yeah. But they're still popping, so I'm not too worried about it. If it continues to get foggy, we can get them killed. But <laughs> it felt like eternity when they are all standing there, Mike and I, I were there trying to put a plan together. Okay, I, I, could, I could, everything was perfect because <laughs> I I was over here watching their CRP, you know? Yeah. That's what I was watching. and. I, I thought, okay, I'm going to take this left one, but I'm going to let you guys shoot. And you're like, pup, Rick, pup, Rick. And I'm like, this, I wanted to get my zoom where I wanted it. And then when I was ready, I was, I was starting to push the button for the pup. And then that, then the left one started coming on up here. So I was like, let him come on just a little. Yeah, I could tell you were getting antsier and crap. I just wanted something to just try to disguise. The only, I, the only reason, I, they were well within shooting range, but I thought, oh, yeah. you know what? If we have the pup going, maybe yeah, when we yeah. start shooting, one might just not know what's going on and stop and oh. give us another shot. You, but. you waited until I got it on. Yeah, well, then they, they when you hit it, the other yeah. two come running up. And then oh, I woofed at them. I just stayed on the one on the left. So I woofed at them and stopped and one, two, boom. Boom, boom and and you swung over on yours but that was kind of i was shooting across to you guys i didn't shoot at that one but i don't know how many times you. i shot but i'm sure i got him rolled up over here on the left <laughs> triple baby yes yeah. Blind Yo, runner i can't even shoot a range back here we're gonna have to lie about how far that was i don't even know either i was just <laughs> shooting <laughs> good luck calling him in this winter <laughs> got that triple got some cows down here we're a little worried they're gonna roust up and come boiling up in here like they always do so I think I'm still gonna play a howl smoke howl and then I'll we'll see if anybody answers
Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Sit with the cows. They laid there their entire time until we started shooting. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> they kind of, they're kind of stampeding out here a little bit, but not bad. But let's go find that coyote. I, <clears throat> Looked like it dropped him straight down on that first one. I got on to try to get on the second one. You know, yeah. when you move real quick, because you know they weren't very. That probably what 100 yards. I don't know my range. I'm yeah. telling me nine yards or something. Yeah, it's just because of the fog. But yeah. the, I just kind of looked at how big they were on my base image, and they were pretty good size. Like, yeah, yep. yeah, they couldn't. So who saw them first? Uh, Mike. Mike kind of spotted him off to the left. Cam saw him over there too. At least, yeah. Somebody but, said left, and I was. But thinking the wind's about, blowing right, like the wind's yeah. going like right. The wind's kind of swirling on us a little bit, so it was out of the like the northwest. Now it's out of the east, so yeah. <laughs> we got lucky that they they didn't wind us. But uh, I don't know, probably 100 yards, kind of what we were thinking. <laughs> it's a little tricky with this fog. We can't quite get our rangefinders work, but I'll tell you what. I mean, you can't tell because you're looking at a thermal image, but you can see the mist going past my headlamp right now. It's it's very humid, misty, you know, and I'll tell you what, these pulsars are performing. I mean, we're seeing coyotes from, you know, you're not seeing them come across these fields from 600 or something, but when they're getting within range, we're, we're seeing. playing smoke out and see what we can come up with here. Big creek bottom down in front of us. Terrible foggy, but we can still see with the pulsars. If they got heat, we got them. Got some howling right here in front of us. I think I'll pick a little pup fight. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. Nice. Go. It got in and seen us, but it's too close. Well, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Those nice guys, that, that one was ripping off down there. Yeah, deep old like sound. T Rex sucker. down yeah, there. Yeah, sounded cool. <laughs> But, you know, we, we knew that we, this, there's a light behind us at this old church behind us over here across the road. Yep. So it's kind of illuminating us. When I put the coal down there and turned around, it was looked like <laughs> yeah. a bunch of guys standing on top of a hill. And the, so, problem, yeah. the problem is with this fog, we're, we're not seeing the coyotes till they're like 100, 150 yeah. yards coming through this stuff. So he saw us about the same time. I think we saw yeah. him and he kind of luckily stopped. And yep. He probably ain't out there 100 yards, but... Did a little howling and then what you said some rabbit going, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But we still got coyotes howling all around. But like Rick said, at this point we've played some stuff. These coyotes yeah. now are it's time to go, like I said. Go every find time, find some fresh ears. Everything we've killed other than that one stand has been pretty quick and we yeah. haven't really got anything working late, so Well no. Nah. I was wrong. He looked mangy in the dang thermal, but he's not. Little female. Another good looking coyote. Well, just want to give everybody an update. It's about 12.30. Yep. We're, we're by no means planning on pulling an all-nighter. I'm running out of gas now. <laughs> yeah, we're we're sitting with eight coyotes. We're damn close to getting ten. So yeah. we pick. We got two spots left. This spot, and one more. You know, the plan is to go back and get some 
decent sleep. Yeah. And then, as you'll see on the next episode, we're uh, breaking out the coon call and stuff tomorrow afternoon, and then we're going to hit the, the thermal stuff again tomorrow night. So, should be a good little spot. We're good thing about nighttime hunting. We just pull right in here next to the buildings. And yeah. We're not going to have to walk about 50 yards to find the spot. We've got kind of a big river bottom off to our left, I think. Yep. That's Last right. year's episodes, we, ki we killed one here. They come from the far right, but. I don't know. Seems like if we're on coyotes, they're coming today. So yeah, they are. Keep pushing the right buttons, Ricky. I'm good here. All right. Just, we just couldn't pick him out when he went across. I'm going to continue with Smoke and Crack Jack. Yep, you're on him. Nice. <laughs> nice shot, Mike. This fog is just appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> I thought it was a rabbit at first. Smoked him. Yeah, once again, you, you know, the crazy thing is you said right over the call, but from your angle, you yeah, know, he's yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. quite a bit further right. It, he was out of my field of view, you know, in the thermal, and then I had to He was, a for me, right. he was right down some line of stocks. <laughs> I could was. see him plain as day. <laughs> <clears throat> How about you, Cam? You see him? Ricky might have been able to see the coyote and us. Rat tail on him. <laughs> yeah. Great one to end the evening on, that's for sure. Well, fellas, it's a pretty dang productive evening. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What was that nine coyotes? Mm -hmm. I think we made 10 stands. Yeah, that's right. Could have had number 10. You know, we had we had one we missed earlier that never really stopped running up to the call. I missed that headshot on that last stand there. Yeah. We had our chance at 10. Was yeah. it about six hours of hunting or so? That's yeah, it started 6 30, 7. Yeah, yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 and a half, 6. And I'll tell you, with the fog the way it was. Oh, yeah. I mean, how we killed once this fog set in, we killed a triple, and then we killed three other singles. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's pretty dang good. It's a full moon right now, so at midnight, I looked in the moonrise, was it 11 or something, 11.30, yeah. so I think the fog actually helped us probably. We could stand out in the middle yeah. of nowhere. I mean, this guy was standing there that Mike just shot about 75 <laughs> yards when yep. I stepped it off. I can't get the... But yeah, the moon, it's so foggy, you can barely see the moon through the fog mm -hmm. up behind us, but... Uh, I guess you know. it ain't full, half. Yeah. But no, I mean, it was a great night, you know, I think. I do uh, like to be able to see Father. Yeah, you know, it is. It's almost like getting in the thick stuff in the daytime right here <laughs> yeah, because they're just all of a sudden right there, you know. Yep. And with us trying to talk, you know, we're, we got the other, the main thermal binos that we're filming with are back behind us, so they're quite a ways away Yeah. Um, because of the field of view. So they're having to work, the communication, we're having to talk a little loud, and but it didn't seem to matter, but... I don't know. I'm excited. That's a great start. I mean, that's probably one of the best half nights I've ever had out here with you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, especially that triple made it. Oh yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. But bang bang. Well, we're gonna we're gonna head back. Like I said, it's about 1:30. I gotta we're gonna go get some. You sleep, gotta get huh? the old man to bed. I got a few orders <laughs> to get ready before we get after the coons tomorrow. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a, was a 100% thermal episode. Um, you know, hope you enjoyed that. We got some cool B-roll, hopefully, with the thermals to kind of see. The fog didn't help, obviously, when it comes to the clarity and how crisp everything really is when it comes to these these mergers and, and uh, you know, everything else that we're using. But uh, stay tuned because we're going to raccoon hunt tomorrow afternoon, which 
should be a hoot like always. And then we're going to be back after the thermal stuff. But Mike, appreciate it. Dragging our butts around tonight, you know. Heck yeah, I'm glad you got to shoot a couple and Rick didn't hog them all the yeah. way it started. I, I thought about, Rick was going to be did, hogging them all. I about did this last one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go get some sleep. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. Raccoon episode coming up. So we'll catch you next time right here on The Last Stand.